Understanding Debates, Deciphering Discourse. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we are delving into a fascinating aspect of English language learning, specifically under our Debates and Discussions unit. We will take a closer look at debates. By the end of this video, you should have a clear understanding of what a debate is and how it distinguishes itself from other forms of discourse. To understand debates, let's start with the definition. A debate is a structured argument where two or more individuals or teams present their views on a specific topic. The key features of a debate include the presentation of facts, logical reasoning, and often, persuasion. But remember, it's not just about who speaks loudest, it's about who makes the most compelling argument. There are several integral components that form the structure of a debate. Let's outline them. 1. Topic or resolution. This is the issue or question under consideration. It often takes the form of a statement that one side supports or affirms, and the other side negates or opposes. 2. Participants. Debates typically involve two teams or individuals. One team or individual, known as the proposition, affirmative, or pro, supports the resolution. The opposing side, called the opposition, negative, or con, counters the resolution. 3. Format. Debates follow specific formats which dictate the order of speeches, the duration for each participant to speak, and the opportunity for rebuttals or cross-examinations. 4. Rules. A set of guidelines determine the conduct of the debate. These can include restrictions on the type of arguments or evidence, time limits, and the way the debate is judged. Now that we know the elements of a debate, let's move on to its purpose. At its core, a debate is designed to facilitate the exchange of differing viewpoints on a given topic. It promotes critical thinking, encourages research and public speaking skills, and enhances the ability to create cogent arguments. Above all, it fosters respect for opposing views and teaches participants to disagree constructively. And there we have it, a concise understanding of what a debate is, its structure, and its purpose. As we progress, we'll delve deeper into the intricacies of debating, including strategies for formulating arguments, effective rebuttals, and more. Keep practicing and always remember, debating is not about winning or losing, but about exploring different perspectives and learning. Thanks for tuning in, and happy debating!